Hi folks, it's Monday, it's the 4th of March. I'm doing a workshop all day today. I'm doing a set of astrological tips. I'm doing lectures on astrocartography and I'm doing workshops on how to work with transits. Thing is, I'm doing this 200 miles away. I'm down in Cornwall, I'm in North Cornwall. It's my last day of a three day stint down there. So this is a recording done three days before. In the last three days, I've talked about the mythology the Greek mythology of astrology and where it comes from and I ended yesterday by talking about the minor asteroids and about how their effects upon us can be so precise at least in the natal horoscope and how this can be and I've banged my head against the wall a number of times thinking how can it be possible for a lump of rock smaller than the state of Manhattan Island, Manhattan Island in America how can it be possible for a lump of rock that size three billion miles away to have such a powerful effect and yet on my newsletter that I sent out to all of you whose email I have, uh, I included a link the other day to a TED talk where a, a woman, a female astrophysicist had recorded the sounds of the solar system and you could actually hear the beating of Jupiter or the sound of the sun, especially for a solar storm. And you could hear all the radio waves, which were obviously hitting their antennae, so they're hitting the Earth, so they're hitting us. And there's a possible way of explaining how astrology works, but that is such a minute, such a homeopathic, invisible influence, that surely that can't be it. So I'm thinking, no, there's got to be more. And then I discovered quantum, and I thought, yeah, particle wave. Now, as soon as you hear, say, hear the word quantum, a lot of people just switch off, because it's... It involves a leap of thinking, and sometimes if I try and explain it, I don't get it, but I can, I can feel it. And it's, uh, to me, quantum is that little bit of magic, but if you want to understand quantum, just get Heisenberg's uncertainty principle, okay? You never know what's real. It's the, print, it's the wave, it's, the, it's, it's the cause and effect. If you look, watch something and you observe it, it is there. If you take your eye off it and turn away, it's like, what's happening? You don't know. It could still be there. It might not be. As I said a few weeks ago, one planet, seven billion different worlds. Our perception is different. How many times have you looked for something on your desk? Thought, oh, I was there a minute ago. Where's it gone? And it's just not there. And then you go away, you, you take a step out of that reality, then you come back two minutes later and there it is, smack in the middle. It's been on holiday, it's not there two minutes ago, now it is. Your perceptive field can be influenced at any given time, not only by your emotions and the way you feel, but by external invisible influences, which symbolically can be represented as the planets, the asteroids and solar influences. But it is more than this. It relates, it relates to to particle and wave. If you watch it, it's there, it behaves in a certain way. That's particle. If you don't watch it, and it's not there in your line of vision or you're in your perception, then it, for all you know, it can be changing nature regularly. And this is the nature of people with each other, thus planets with each other. At best, astrology is not so much a guessing game, it's a system of not divination, but prognostication. As I say to people, through translating the influences, by being aware of the, of the, uh, the but pattern recognition, by being aware of the development of certain individual patterns over a period of time and relating it to specific patterns, i.e. an individual's horoscope or the horoscope of a nation, it is possible not to predict, but to certainly suggest areas and timings and what the individual stroke entity does with that information, with those opportunities and timings, is of course up to them. That's called free will. It does seem rather strange to me that we on planet Earth are stuck at the end of a spiral arm of a fairly remote galaxy way out from uh, the centre of the universe. And it just seems that we're being shunted off while some weird sort of transition is happening. This free will thing. Fascinating. And without astrology, I question whether we would have the ability to ascribe any type of philosophical meaning to it. Okay, enough rambling. I'm back from Cornwall tomorrow. Let's catch you tomorrow. Bye.